guys, welcome back! Some of you asked for another Dakar video with more Dakar related games. Finally, the wait is over! Let's take a look! Besides the amazing and groundbreaking Paris Dakar from the Spanish developer Made in Spain, released in 1988 for the ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, MSX, Amiga, and DOS. Good Masters was, as told on my Colin McRae Rally retrospective, thoroughly into racing games, so it was a matter of time for them to release in 1991 a Dakar related game, Paris to Dakar, exclusively for the ZX Spectrum. It had nothing to do with its more strategy based Spanish counterpart and definitely way less enjoyable. The only feature worth mentioning is a chance of racing with a rally car, a buggy, truck or bike. But prior to this, and as mentioned on Pixel Things episode dedicated to my top 16 games for the Turbo Graphics and PC Engine, Victory Run was released in Japan in 1987 and a couple years later in the United States. It would offer us the chance to drive our vehicle from Paris to Dakar through various types of terrain and we would be forced to use manual shifting, something that scared casual players right in the first kilometer. Also by the end of 87, a strange Dakar related game developed by Isco was released for the Famicom. Paris Dakar Rally Special! This odd and unusual sort of racing game, with a title that sounds like something we could eat at a McDonald's, would mix elements of so many different genres in gaming like driving and racing, action, shoot em up, adventure and even platforming. This is, I believe, the farthest we can go in what Dakar related games are concerned. By 1989, the French software house Cocktail Vision published African Riders 01 from fellow French developer Tomahawk that would start to explore the Paris Dakar license. It would place us directly in African stages going as fast as possible from point A to point B. The fun part is that we're not forced to stay in the market path, so and to avoid all other riders it's highly advisable to venture off the road in every sense of the sentence. But obviously, there's many hazards to consider and to avoid, like old barrels from previous races, camels and sand. This last one could really slow us down, but fortunately, we can simply switch from two to four wheel drive and off we go. Simply follow the instruments below, being also careful not to break them, and we'll reach the checkered flag in a good position and ready for the next stage. A fun game with an interesting concept. Back to more serious titles, and as told on my original Dakar Games episode, DOS, Amiga and Atari ST players would receive in 1990 Paris Dakar 1990, also developed by the French team Tomahawk and once again published by Cocktail Vision now featuring this first-person view of the desert inside the cockpit. It would definitely immerse the player and, unlike its predecessor, only two of its six stages offer the chance to go off the beaten path. All other four stages must be driven within the stone market course. It's not as fun and engaging as African Riders 01, but the first-person view from inside the cockpit is a nice touch. Fast forward a few years and we reach 1997, a year when this obscure PlayStation video game was made available exclusively in Japan, Dakar 97. Virgin Interactive published this one and only title developed by Alcom Games, in cooperation with Mitsubishi Motors, that only offers four vehicles to choose from. Six different courses awaits the player in locations such as mountain roads, deserts, savanna and beaches, but the gameplay can be really frustrating and far from enjoyable. Even so, the sense of freedom in certain stages is cool and the music perfectly sets the tone for a Dakar game. Not being a Dakar or desert themed racing game, 
Master Rally should also be mentioned. It's based on the 5000 km long real Master Rally race that takes place across seven countries from Paris to Moscow. It was developed by Steel Monkeys and published in late 2001 by Microids for Windows and the PlayStation 2. Right about the same time, that acclaim also published Broadsword's officially licensed Paris Dakar Rally game, also for Windows and for the PlayStation 2. It's a quite fun and enjoyable arcade racer that keeps the player entertained for a while, but the sense of déjà vu from one country to another is quite annoying and ends up being placed aside after a couple of hours of gameplay. It was cool to get back to it though, I guess that the last time I played it was 10 years ago or something. If you watch my Dakar Games episode from early 2015, you'll recall that I talked about both Dakar titles from Acclaim and mentioned that Fuel was supposed to be a freaking awesome Dakar-like experience named Grand Raid Off-Road, but Codemasters grabbed the rights to publish it and Grand Raid Off-Road was no more. Gladly and also as told on that same episode, in mid-2008 Baja Edge of Control was released for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 from the same guys that brought us in the past the amazing Motocross Madness PC exclusive franchise, besides other mind-blowing off-road racers from Rainbow Studios Unleashed series. 2008 was also the year when an official Baja 1000 licensed game was published by Activision and developed by Left Field Productions, the makers of the awesome MTX Moto Tracks and, prior to that, the N64 exclusive Excitebike 64. But this score International Baja 1000 is, as I've mentioned on other occasions, the worst game I've ever played. It's a complete insult to the racing game's genre, a licensed title that totally missed its point, that was simply to offer the chance to players to tackle and participate in such a respected and mythic event such as the Baja 1000. So, and as for desert-themed racing games, Baja Edge of Control is still my favorite and almost 10 years later after its original release, ended up being remastered for the current-gen systems, the PS4, the Xbox One and even the PC. Grabbed it day one and I'm absolutely loving it, trying to complete it on its highest difficulty setting. Sound is slightly worse and the small bugs from the original stayed intact, but the graphics are sharper than ever. A must-have for all fans of off-road racing. Check my complete review of the 2008 original Baja Edge of Control if you missed it. And by November of 2017, this Portuguese studio Big Moon Entertainment announced at Lisbon Games Week that they were working on an official brand new franchise of the greatest off-road race in the planet. This first entry, known as Dakar 18, just received a reveal trailer. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this part 2 of Dakar related games and I'll leave you with this mind-blowing trailer of a game that I've been waiting for since I played Paris Dakar on my ZX Spectrum back in 1988. Please enjoy and let me know in the comments section below your thoughts about it. I'll certainly make a complete review when the game launches. Again, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe and click that bell icon so that you're notified when the next video becomes available. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Dakar!